Ukraine. Riots in Kiev have reignited, with protesters attacking riot policemen and breaking the uneasy truce that had been agreed upon between the government and the opposition. Rioters are reportedly using firearms, and some witnesses say there are snipers shooting at security forces. There are reports that more people have also been killed. Ukraine's parliament currently being evacuated, and several buildings in the center of the capital have been captured. RT's Alexei Rashevsky is following the turmoil in Kiev, now joining us live. Good to get you back on the line here, and you're taking cover, apparently, inside a nearby building. Alexei, the truce that was agreed upon in the overnight, apparently in a state of tatters. There's no truce at all, Rory, at the moment. Just to give you an idea of what's happening right now, I would probably love to give you a better view of the Independence Square, which is just over here. But we were just shot at. We, we just saw a gunfire. It, it literally broke our window over here. You can see, I asked my camera to zoom in. Uh, we were standing meters, well, not even meters, maybe centimeters away when a gunshot hit the room where we have a live position, where we have a live spot, where we're giving, giving our broadcast. This is pretty much the scene right now in Kiev. Despite the truce which was agreed upon last night uh, between the opposition and the government, uh, the rioters, the so-called right-wing sector, went on an offensive. Uh, several hours ago, I was witnessing down there, seven floors down from where I'm standing right now, uh, as they pushed the police from the barricades which they had reoccupied 48 hours before now they're mounting barricades again we can hear bullets flying i've seen several heavily wounded people carried both from the side of the police and from the side of the protesters it's all true mayhem we also felt something some strong scent of uh, i can't say what it is but it's something of a toxic substance in the air presumably it was used by rioters because we were standing at the side where the rioters were rushing at the police and i smelled some some sort of gas but i don't know what it is but it's quite toxic and and it was really hard uh, to breathe. We do know as well that the government, the parliament building is now being evacuated because the protesters, the rioters are attempting to storm it. They have also managed to recapture several of the buildings inside uh, the city center area. So it's all hell uh, breaking loose right now. We heard from the government early on Wednesday that they will be implementing a counter-terrorism operation mode, uh, providing more security, especially after information that uh, the protesters have, uh, have uh, stolen um, live ammunition, 15,000 bullets, uh, 300 handguns and uh, machine guns from one of the security services arsenals in the west of the country and delivered them uh, to Kiev. Just on our way to this live position, we saw a group of men, maybe 10, 15 men, standing in the lobby of the hotel, which is pretty much the headquarters of the opposition of the rioting movement at the moment. We saw men with, uh, with rifles and uh, handguns uh, just literally waiting for an order from their commander to move outside and attempt another storm at the police, probably. So this is not truce, that's for sure. I mean, uh, it's far from, from being settled, definitely, because the right-wing sector, the core of the protest, they say that they will not be obeying to any orders coming from the opposition, and they heard nothing about the truce which was agreed last night between the opposition leaders and the president. Yeah, Alexei, I think it's really important for everyone to understand that the violence, the scene there is really escalating uh, and, and frankly deeply worrying that you showed us this sniper bullet hole that uh, occurred minutes ago through the window of the door right behind you, the balcony door. Alexei, as I've got you here, I, I'm, I'm being told right now by management here at RT International that our fellow RT correspondent, uh, Igor Piskanov, Igor Piskanov, uh, in the same area as you, has now allegedly been captured by protesters and rioters there in the region, and three RT cameramen have been detained as well. Alexei, keep your helmet on, stay indoors. We'll speak to you really soon.